What's going on guys? Today is Sunday, September 15th, 2024. And we have 47 days until we launch the All Dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide. Man, it's a scorcher. It's a scorcher here in Cartagena. Literally just came down from my apartment and look, I'm sweating. It's a beach day. I haven't been to the beach in a few weeks. Uh, I need to feel the ocean. I need my feet on the surface of the earth. Um, that's what's going to happen today. Um, today, I'm highlighting a kid that I seen practicing yesterday right here i don't know this kid he's a, a young colombian soccer player and i just happened to be passing going to get my hair cut and him and his dad was in this you know the soccer field uh doing some passes and then his trainer walked up as i'm watching and then they started training this kid needs a dreamer's vault Okay, it's no telling what will happen with this kid and where he will take his dream of playing soccer. We don't know. What I do know is he's doing the work. And World Cup 2026, it's a great time for athletes to be documenting and putting their sports journey on the All Dreams platform. Because these young kids that are going to be doing it that is going to be using our platform is going to be the next generation of leon uh messi's and Christa, uh ronaldo's cristiano ronaldo's and leon Le, Le, leo messi let's just say that okay um so that's the highlight the you know the dreamer vault highlight for today is this kid random kid and i search i search for kids just working on their craft and I'll be going all across the world searching for kids to put on the platform again we are a media company first and telling these stories of these athletes um, podcasts short form video this is how we will be promoting these athletes and for people to actually go and support these different athletes by us telling their story okay I want to give a shout out to TLS in Japan. Okay, I want to give a shout out to this brother, TLS in Japan. Uh, he left a comment on my last video, very encouraging comment, and I really appreciate you for doing that. I really do. He said he found me when he found my content when he started talking about business content, something like that, and he found my channel and. He likes it. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Um, not only do I appreciate that, I subscribe to your channel. And specifically, I want to talk for a second about the video that, that I initially watched about you being married in Japan. Man, big ups to you, brother. Big ups to you, man. Uh, being in Japan, having a wife, and being a grown man, bro. I, I just really appreciate that, man. From a, from black man to black man, and if anybody knows, like I'm not on this like pro black and all you know all of that stuff, yo. Like I believe we all are more alike than more different. But big ups to you, man. Black man to black man, black American man to to black American man. Um, because having a wife is responsibility, right? All these guys are traveling traveling the world traveling these different countries for girls and traveling to all these countries to, to, to date these different women because they don't get the results in the States, okay? This is many guys, it's not, all of, it's not all of the guys. If this is not you, I'm not talking about you, okay? But it is, it's the majority of guys, I would say. But I watched this video about being married and him and his wife and how, you know, it, it was a dope video. He's talking about how clean his wife is and how uh 
at the time he met his wife, his credit wasn't that good. Now his credit is better. But, you know, going into these relationships in the United States, these women, they want, they want you to have excellent credit. They want you to make six figures. They want all these things, right? But he was basically stating that being with his wife now, he didn't have to come to the table with all of those things. And now he's able to do the things that to probably make that six figures to, 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 to have that great credit. But a team is always better than one person. So big ups to you, man. And I'm gonna be following your journey, for real. I'm gonna be following your journey, man. Really, really dope to connect with you. Uh, anybody, I'm gonna put his channel in the description. Go follow this guy because his content is dope. I, 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 didn't, I did not just watch one video, I watched a couple videos. Uh, and I really like what he's doing over there. TLS in Japan. Um, last thing i want to talk about last night i went to watch the uh canelo and edgar berlinga fight and i received a message and um my cousin passed away uh not yesterday but the day before uh he was sick his cancer had returned he was only 51 years old and although i didn't have like a daily relationship with with my cousin he's still blood right and um it just tells me man life is so short once again you remind it life is so short uh he was 51 years old has sons has a, a wife and family and now he has tr transitioned off of this earth to never return this is why it's so important to take every single day seriously to live your life um whole to live your life on the up and up you know to try to live as healthy as possible it's one of the reasons why i'm here in cartagena because i get i feel more healthy okay like all of the toxins that i've been eating throughout my entire life in, in the states I, I you know you pray that you can uh rectify these things moving forward because now as an older man you you get to know like okay i can't do the same thing that I used to do I can't eat the same way that I used to eat right and now it's even more toxins in the food in the states right um but towards the end of his life I started to have more of a relationship with him he followed me on Instagram and he started to tell me how much he loved what I was doing and any thing when you're in this fight for building something anything like that is a positive it's a net positive because you get so many negatives and i really really appreciate him for that the last time i talked to him i was back home i believe it might have been late june and i asked him i said man yo let's you know i would love to link up man let's you know i'm in town and yo let's link up and we didn't link up and uh i feel a way about that you know i feel a way about that i would just love to talk to him and just see him but i didn't know that that would be the last time and that's how it always happened you never know when will be the last time you're going to see a person you know and uh i'm sad i'm sad i'm sad i'm sad i'm sad I'm 44, 51 if I'm thinking like, you know, because you start to think as you get older, you think about your mortality. I had a cousin in 2023 in May that she might've been like 21 and she she passed away in a car accident in Florida. Uh, so we don't know and we have to try to make the most of this life daily, okay? So to anyone, man please take your life serious do what you can every single day tell your family you love them uh pray pray and hold, you know one one more thing last night i was in the center i'm watching the colorado game you know uh on my phone waiting for the fight and i was just happened to be sitting near a church and for some reason i haven't been in a church if you know, I, you know I, i'm really not into organized religion because of 
my my interactions with people that are really engulfed in organized religion so i'm really not into it um but i had to for some reason something made me go into this church and pray and ironically maybe an hour later i get the text message that my cousin misi passed away so man take life seriously uh most people you know you guys should know that and tell your loved ones that you love them go hard give it all try to make impact try to leave a mark on this world while you're here okay because the one thing is inevitable is that we're not going to be here forever all right guys happy sunday man and uh start the week off strong i will see you guys tomorrow peace